Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pair your Samsung Buds with your Apple iPhone. Now, a warning before we go too much further is this is going to be a long video because I'm going to go through the pairing process and then I want to talk about the Buds for a little bit, okay? Because um, when I originally got them today, I was going to do an unboxing video and the pairing and all the other stuff, but I decided against it because, you know, unboxing videos, there's so many of them. And, you know, they could be kind of boring, you know, just the usual thing. Okay, take the thing out of the box and here's the books and the accessories and whatever. But if anyone does have any questions about what was in the box, please feel free to ask and I will show you everything that was in there. So anyway, let's just get on with this. So here's how you pair it. So you're going to take your Samsung Buds. Here's the case. Sound by AKG. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay. You want to open the case, okay? Then we're going to go into, on the iPhone, settings, Bluetooth, and then you see right there, it popped up the Galaxy Buds. You're going to tap them. And under my devices are the Galaxy Buds. It is that quick. I have to say, I am extremely impressed with the job Samsung did because these pair, you know, flawlessly. And I'm just so happy about that. The second thing that I'm really happy about with these buds, and I got to show you, this is a little pet peeve of mine, but let me show you, is this case, this, this bud's case. So let me plug in this USB charging cable. The red light. I love this. Now, this is a quirky thing of mine that I love, but okay, the red light will stay red, meaning it's charging until it's finished charging, okay? And then that light will go from red to green to let you know that your buds and case are fully charged. That is so much better, so way much better than how the AirPods do because that green LED, when you plug it in, hold on, I'll show you. Let's see if I got the charge thing. Actually, I don't have it right here, so I can't show you. But when you charge it in, that turns amber, and a few seconds later, it goes out, and then that's it. Okay, so you can come back like two hours later, and in order to see if they're fully charged, you have to either open the case and have the light turn on, see what color it is, or you have to go to your phone, swipe over to the battery section, and check that way. That is such a stupid design. I don't know what Apple was thinking. Apple, this is the way you do an LED on a charging case. Okay, that is how it should be. Learn from that. Okay, so that's one of the things that really impresses me about the buds. I know it's a quirky thing and kind of stupid maybe to you, but to me, that's something that is just really, you know, I, I think Samsung did a fantastic job on and Apple should have, should have done that, but all right, whatever. So let's just keep going on. Okay. My overall impression of the buds is I do like them. Um, I think the sound quality is really, really good. Um, this is going to be a little bit controversial though, because this is very subjective. I think for my personal taste, though, the AirPods sound a little bit better. They're a little bit more crisp, and I think they just have, you know, the highs and the lows. It's just a little bit more tuned, a little bit better, okay, right out of the box. Now, I haven't admittedly tried these with my Note 9 yet because on the iPhone, you're limited. You can't adjust any sound or anything like that. But then again, to be fair, you can't adjust any sound on your AirPods either. They're just out the box the way they sound. And I think the AirPods are a little bit better. Um, another thing with the Buds is, okay, the battery indicator. Now, when you swipe over, you can see there, there are my Galaxy Buds, okay? Now, it will only give you the percentage, that's it, of whatever it is, you know, be 100 or 70, 60, whatever. Okay, you won't get any readings for the individual Buds like you would if you had on your AirPods. But, you know, really that's not a big deal and that's to be expected because, you know, there's always going to be software limitations where you're going from a Galaxy device and using it on iOS. But on the whole, though, you know, I, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Um, Samsung put a lot of thought into it. You know, the pairing I'm just still blown away by. Um, the physical case itself, I think they did a fantastic job on, especially when you consider the money. Okay. I paid $129 and then with tax it came out to... Probably like 138, one, almost 139. You know, and it could fluctuate depending on what region you live in and the tax rates. But, you know, given the quality of this case, 
that LED light, my, you know, little obsession. Um, the features, you know, like I said, they're, they're a little bit lacking because, you know, that had, that has to be expected. Okay. You're not going to have all the same software features that you would with the AirPods. Okay. Like you're not going to have the customization as far as, you know, double tapping or tapping, you know, stop or tapping to pause or tapping to skip tracks. You're not going to have that with the buds. So you have to be willing to make some sacrifices. But in my opinion, for $129 plus tax, I think they are well worth the money. Um, I can't wait. And I'm going to try these for a week with my iPhone, you know, see how it goes. Um, I already know the limitations. Okay, so I'm not, you know, going to be, you know, too worried about that. And then I cannot wait to try them with my Note 9. So on the whole, like, again, I really, really like them. I think Samsung did a fantastic job. And again, I'm going to reiterate, yes, I think the AirPods sound a little bit better as far as, you know, the overall sound quality, okay? But then again, I think that could change once, you know, you have the customization options for sound that Samsung will provide when these are paired up with a Galaxy device. So that could definitely go in the Bud's favor. Um, but on the whole, though, I'm, I'm just... I gotta say, for the price, I am really, really, really impressed. Okay. Now, we gotta answer this question: Are these worth purchasing over the Apple AirPods? That is a good one. Um, I think it depends pretty much on what features you're really looking for. Um, like, if you're somebody who's like really, really athletic, I think the buds though are gonna stay in your ear better than the AirPods will. I think they, they both fit, in my opinion, they both fit very well, but I think, you know, the buds with the customization, you know, because you have the different ear pieces and the little like wings that you could adjust to really fit snuggly in your ear. I think the buds for somebody who's very athletic or spending a lot of time outside or working in a rugged environment probably would do better with the buds. Um, but I think either one you'll, you know, overall the fit, they both fit really well in my opinion, but I would have to give the nod definitely to the buds for, you know, more rugged and extreme usage um, features and customization definitely that nod would go to the apple airpods um, sound quality again that goes narrowly to the airpods but then again you know you gotta look at the price though i think what samsung did with this price and i know i keep harping on the price but what you're getting for the price of these things i think is really impressive and i think samsung did a fantastic job okay so you know, I recommend, you know, ultimately, though, I could say everything that I want to. But I think, you know, if you're on the fence, get these, try them. If you don't like them, return them. OK, that's really the best thing you could do. But you see, they, they pair up so fast. I'm, I was I'm, I'm just so impressed by that. You know, just the overall package of these buds. I am very impressed by. OK, so what else? OK, um, later in the week, I am getting the. Samsung Galaxy Fit, and I'm really looking forward to that because, you know, I have my Apple Watch, but I do want an exercise tracker for that wrist. So I'll be getting that later in the week. So I'll be doing a video showing you guys that. And then also later in the week, I'll be getting the Samsung Fast Charge Wireless Charging um, uh, Brick, whatever you want to call it. I was supposed to get that late battery pack. I don't know, Brick, what I was talking about. I was supposed to have that um, actually this past weekend, but there was a delivery problem. So hopefully I'll have that later in the week along with the um, new Galaxy um, Fit Sport Band, you know, fitness tracker. So I'm looking forward to that. So, you know, stay tuned. I'll be having those videos coming up. And if you have any questions about these buds or anything you want to know about how they work with the iPhone or features or things like that. Oh, and another thing too, with the buds, there is no Buds app for the um, iPhone, so that doesn't exist. But anything you want to know, just, you know, comment section down below, email, Twitter, or whatever. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will talk with you all later.